Humor is a quintessential American trait. Facile and reactive, American humor has changed and reinvented itself with every passing century. From the wit of Ben Franklin and Washington Irving to the social satire of Mark Twain. The first half of the 20th century saw the beginnings of the onslaught of technology and its impact on American society. And the man who gave voice to the new style of American humor reflecting that onslaught was James Thurber. As a young boy, essayist and cartoonist James Thurber was blinded in one eye by an arrow when he and his brothers were playing a game of William Tell. From that day on, unable to compete in sports, Thurber immersed himself in a rich world of fantasy. A world that would find an outlet in his unique writings and peculiar sketches. A world that would make him America's greatest and most original humorist since Mark Twain a world that would allow him to become a fearless observer of 20th century American society. James Thurber was born in Columbus, Ohio on December 8, 1894. Because of his poor eyesight, he did not fight in World War I, but worked as a code clerk in Washington, D.C. In 1927, Thurber joined the New Yorker's magazine staff. Here he would develop his clear yet unusual comedic style of writing while commenting on everyday life in the United States. Thurber, with great comic awareness and sensitivity, described the anxieties of the average American coping with society and its newfangled ideas and machines. Thurber's comedic masterpiece of the human condition was his short story, The Secret Life of Walter Mitty. In this piece, he captured the fear many men of the time felt toward machines such as automobiles, the dread they experienced from the pressure of their jobs, the escape they yearned for from their nagging wives. Walter Mitty was able to find relief from all these trials and tribulations through his vivid daydreaming in which he always played the fearless hero. Wing Commander Walter Mitty, the most feared man in the entire RAF Desert Patrol, clung to the tail of the Messerschmitt. Thurber's style was so original, it has never been copied though he would influence writers like Kurt Vonnegut and Joseph Heller. But more importantly, Thurber had picked up the mantle of humor from Mark Twain and in turn passed it on to such humorists as Art Buckwald, Irma Bombeck, and Dave Barry. As a result, he legitimized comic short-form writing for newspapers and magazines, a largely American art form. James Thurber died on November 2nd, 1961.